Hello, I pray all is well. Peace be with you. Every human is born with inalienable rights. One of these rights is the right to prosperity. It's a beautiful thought, equal rights, if it were true. But businesses, politics, policies, and people misdirect equal rights. Blockchain technology does something that no other business, government, or person on earth can do. Give equal access to unbiased knowledge and truth. Now let's radically simplify the way you look at cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. So what is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is something like Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin is an encrypted digital currency. We've been using digital money for years. Every debit card transaction, every credit card transaction, digital money. That gift card you get from your mom every year on your birthday, digital money. Digital money is just now more secure and has a new name, cryptocurrency. What is the blockchain? The blockchain is an encrypted, secure accounting ledger. It's similar to a group text message. You can see every message that everyone has ever sent of all time, even if you don't want to. So if someone says that they didn't actually send a message, you could check the receipts. With blockchain and cryptocurrency, if someone claims that they made a payment, you check the blockchain. To understand my interest in blockchain technology and equal access to prosperity and knowledge, it's important to know who I am and where I come from. My name is Derek Jones, and I'm the founder of United Coin. I was born and raised in Miami, Florida. Born and raised in the county of days, as they say. Home sweet home. I attended the University of Miami and majored in finance. As a student at the U, I had a professor that was a former loan officer for a major national bank. Once a week, he would come in and rant about how the American banking system was tilted against the bank customers. Perfectly good loan applications where people could afford the payments were denied. They needed the help and they were denied. While the friends of the bank manager approved with little oversight, these decisions affect people and families. We need a better system and we need it now. When you go to get a loan or to get credit from a bank, first they have to determine your credit worthiness. In order to determine your credit worthiness, they ask for your name, date of birth, race, nationality, gender, and address. They also look at your payment history and your income. But let's take a look at this and really examine it. Name, date of birth, race, gender, nationality. These are all personal attributes you did not choose. How could something you did not choose be used to determine your worthiness to access money? That doesn't seem fair. My introduction to cryptocurrency and blockchain technology was by broadcast radio. In 2013, I moved to California to open an office for my accounting firm. While driving home from Napa, I hear on the radio that there's a digital currency that does its own accounting. You have got to be kidding me. So I pull over on the side of the road, and for the next three hours, I listen to experts talk about the advantages and disadvantages of cryptocurrency. As soon as I get home, I round up every single computer I have, and I dive headfirst into the rabbit hole. Over the next six months, I become fully enraptured in blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. After the six months, I come to a conclusion. Blockchain and cryptocurrency are changing the world, and I want to be a part of it. Why blockchain, Derek? Why should I care? May I point to one of my favorite quotes? attributed to President Andrew Jackson, 1834. If the American people understood the injustice of the money and banking system, there would be a revolution by morning. This quote says it all. There are financial institutions right now in America being questioned by Congress. What are they being questioned about? They're being questioned about the illicit methods they use against their own customers. Customers are having wage garnishments for debts they do not owe. Customers are having withdrawals directly out of their accounts 
for debts they do not owe. These same banks and financial institutions have also been found filing foreclosures and lawsuits against customers while they're still current on their payments. As the customer, you have two choices. Defend yourself in court or pay the debt. I don't think that's fair either. We need a new system and we need it now. For far too long, the doors of prosperity have been closed, locked, and guarded. Blockchain technology opens these doors, unlocks them, and puts the key in your hand. For far too long, the doors of prosperity have been closed, locked, and guarded. Blockchain technology opens these doors, unlocks them, and puts the key in your hand. Blockchain technology does not care about your age, your race, your gender, where you were born or where you're from. All it does is care about accuracy based on math and code. The lens of equality allows us to be able to make unbiased decisions based on integrity. Allow me to give you an example of the lens of equality at work. My father, Daryl, is a former Florida State Senator, a retired fighter pilot, and a lawyer. While in office, he passed the Rosewood Bill. The Rosewood Bill is the only time in American history that reparations have been paid to African Americans. Allow me to tell you a little bit of a story about Rosewood. The year is 1923. Rosewood, Florida is a prominent city of entrepreneurs. Individuals as far as 400 miles away come to destroy Rosewood and its citizens. During the massacre, the local governor asked the sheriff if National Guard troops should be deployed. The sheriff says he has everything under control. Later on, it is found that the Florida sheriff was actually one of the leaders of the massacre. During the presentation of the bill, these facts are presented to support the bill. When speaking about the citizens, my father makes a point not to use the words black or white. He refers to them strictly as Florida citizens. There can be no bias. The race and ethnicity of the citizens is irrelevant. In the minds of the senators, they are now equals. The government is obligated to protect its citizens. The bill passed. Like the Rosewood bill, Blockchain technology allows us to be able to look at the world with the lens of equality, to be able to remove bias and focus on knowledge and truth. You see, we've been looking at money wrong the whole time. Money should be easy. Money should be as easy as sending a phone call to a family member in another country. This way, with blockchain technology, money becomes a utility, like electricity. When you plug in, voila, it works. Let me tell you a story about a guy named James. James wants to do really well with his life. He actually wants to leave the world better than he found it. He works extremely hard and becomes a billionaire. Now, once he becomes a billionaire, he wants to give away some of his wealth. But he doesn't want to give it to an agency middleman because he's heard that some of those donations do not get to the people who need them. So, James works with his team and develops a blockchain application that works as a text message. This blockchain application allows you to be able to scan a QR code. When you scan the QR code with your mobile phone, it opens up a message. When you send this message in return, you receive a blockchain wallet and you also receive 10 units of cryptocurrency. Now, the money gets to the people who need it and everybody wins. Thank you, James. Blockchain technology is changing the world as we know it. Equal access to finance is here, and just in time. In 2021, I became a father. After 36 hours of labor and five hours of pushing, we were blessed with a beautiful baby boy. In that moment, my capacity for love increased a thousand times. In that moment, I also realized that I wanted to protect my son, protect him from the biases based on the traits he was born with, from the prejudgment that he may encounter while he's a child, and even when he grows up as a man. And I've got to tell you, blockchain technology and people using blockchain technology are doing everything they can to change the world. I know I am. This is your moment, your moment to prosper. 
Blockchain technology has opened the doors and put the key in your hand. You have the opportunity. Blockchain technology does not care about your name, your race, your gender, or your ethnicity. It only cares about math and code. Every human born on Earth is part of the human race. And we all have the right to have the same starting line. We all have equal rights given to us by the Creator. The power is in your hands. Now, go change the world. Blessings.